And fall in my fellow scouts to Napoleon Total War Eagles mod battle replay today. It's a 2v2, the Battle of Baylin. Today's replay, it takes place in 1808. I can't really name the plays as of yet because on the map we just have the um, defenders which are General Von Redding, Direka Espelgola, and Lina Estradiga. Estradiga, maybe. We have General Division Vedel, 3rd Division, and General Division Babu. Yeah, Babu. Which is the first division. Okay, now we don't have any points on the field today, so I'm going to assume it's like a winner take all, death match kind of style we're going to see it here today. We've got the Francy marching down the road towards the Spanish. Now, guys, just to give you a brief history lesson on the Battle of Baylin, uh, bear with me here. I'm looking at this um, website called thespanishwars.net. It says one of the accidents that led to the Battle of Baylin was that during the war for the Spanish independence in 1808 against the Napoleonic occupation, the government Juntas of Sevilla and the Grandar began recruiting two armies whose mission would be to cut the paths to the French in Sierra Morena. The recruitment was massive and received a large number of volunteers, which some 17,000 men apparently, which formed half the army of Adulisa. On their way to Adulisa, General Pio Dupont's army had a terrible time given the hostile towns that rose up in arms and the bandits that continuously accosted him or harassed him. They sacked Cordoba. On June 8th, he then learned that the French fleet in Cadiz had surrendered and that the Spanish were organizing army to cut the paths. He left the city and took refuge in Aduja, where he established his headquarters. In the meantime, the Spanish commander Francisco Javier Castros met the high Spanish class of commanders in Adulucia to decide what strategy to follow. In the end, the decision was that the two divisions would attack Andrida, where the French were holed up, and the third one would cross the Guadalajara Cuver and the army of the Grand Dad would cross the Menjibar, led by Commander Tedoro Redding, which was one of the commanders in the battle here today. On the 13th, on July 13th, Redding begins to cross the Guadala Courier in the Mengbar. The town was defended by 2,000 by the French general Leguia Belair. On the morning of July 14th, the Spanish squadrons, commanded by General Francisco Xavier Vengas, forced the French cavalry to flee to the other side of the river. Laguia Bea decided to evacuate the town at the possibility of further attacks and asks the general of one of the French divisions, Dominique Hono Atone, Marie Vedel, for help. That's a long name. Now it looks like the French here are just outside one of the towns here. Reading began the attack on July 15th, early in the morning. However, Vedel interrupted the, interrupted the operation at mid morning, but later abandoned his position when Pierre Dupont requested reinforcements and left for Aduja. In the meantime, the Spanish course of action was to cross the Sierra Morena from the headquarters in Utera. In many bold maneuvers, General Castano led his army night and day, ever changing his positions so the French wouldn't be able to guess their intentions whilst being informed of the French movements thanks to the civilians. So, you know, the um, Spanish were using civilians essentially spies or, you know, reconnaissance drones to keep it tabs on where the French armies were at all times. Okay, the Battle of Balin. Pierre Dupont, a little uncertain, sent part of his force here to La, Car La Carolina, meaning to protect the path to Madrid. He was afraid that if Castos, the Spanish general, I think, meant to cut the road, they'd be confined from Anduja, and he didn't dare begin a battle and sought to retreat instead, trying to find and join other French troops committed by Vidal and Dufour that were coming to his aid, so he was calling for help. With this intention, he made for Balin, where we are right now. On June 18, but just as they were reaching the city, they met Castel face to face and the Battle of Balin began. The fact that the battle took place at the gates of the city may be the decisive fact in the Spain's victory, as the locals did all it could to help the Spanish troops. The most important help came in the way of fresh water supply from for the soldiers, welcome relief in the searing heat. However, the French troops were badly affected as the cannons overheated, malfunctioned, and geez, probably exploded. After several episodes of grim and bloody combat and the suffocating climate conditions, General Pierre Dupont was defeated before Fidel's forces were able to come to their rescue. Over 17,000 French soldiers laid down their weapons and surrendered. The Battle of Balin was the first great defeat the Napoleonic army suffered, teaching him a Spanish lesson. So let's see if France can redeem themselves and rewrite history here today, eh? Hey? So, you know, Spanish won mainly because of civilian support, not because of the army. 
Well, you know, I think the client played a huge role in that, but the civilians, history says, played the decisive factor. With fresh water, they're probably able to cool their equipment down as well. Alright guys, we're back. The six pounder cannon crew firing on the Spanish position there, giving a morale shot to one of his cavalry units. Which still has a hundred horses in it. But he probably needs to move them to safety. You know, I reckon just the other side of this ridge here should be a pretty good defensive position, making it very difficult, to, if not impossible, for the artillery to hit them. Not a lot, not a unit he wants to lose. But, to his credit, they're in a position that should be able to reform before they reach the red line and disappear forever. I always caution engagements along the red line. You play in a dangerous game and you do that. A healthy unit that would reform otherwise, you will, you'll definitely lose. Because they're going to rank straight for the red line as soon as they break. So, if you're going to engage along the red line, make sure you can bloody win. I'll tell you that. If you're unsure of yourself, don't attack. Wait for another opportunity. Now, it looks like we've got the Spain here bringing up some of their artillery. Two crews instead of the French one. Make that three crews. Well, the other one's coming up, but it's taking its time. Look at these guys. Okay, these cannons are a bit bigger. Possibly 12 pounders. Very, very slow compared to their counterparts. We've got 12 pounders here, let's have a look at them. Yeah, they look like 12 pounder cannons. In fact, the silver ones over here look even bigger. Tough call. The Cord Trende Equipage. I can't tell from that description. 8 pounder, I can tell that one. So Spanish have an insane amount of firepower here compared to the French's one artillery crew. You got some French, sorry, yeah, Spanish skirmishers here harassing the French line, but they're going up against regular infantry. Now, you know, to be fair, um, some of the skirmish units I've noticed in Napoleon Total War Three, which are currently vouch for Napoleon Eagles, have similar range as some line infantry do. Like 70, for example, from memory. There's only a couple units that can go over 100 meters or 115 yards. If you have those skirmish forces, you'll always engage your enemy outside of their range. No other artillery in the area. General here is a unit of six. In TW3, it's usually 16. Voltigeur skirmishes over here. With another French force. This could be the French reinforcements talked about in the story. Look at where he's gone. Can't read the name of that map. Like the small town they're going for. Let's have a look. I can make that map larger. Let's have a look. Andrew Jar. Can you see that? So they're doing the best to recreate the battle. Now we've got Spain moving across the field here. We've got some of the French army shadowing them. The rest of the French troops are mainly over here to protect the artillery crew. That's got to be the only reason for this force. Alright peoples, are we in firing range? That is the question. Spanish have moved closer. That's mainly because their artillery is now firing away here, hammering the flanks here of the French. Looks like he's the French is moving forward here. He's thinking about trying to take out that artillery crew. Best of luck to him. I'm sure Spain has put in some countermeasures in place if he tries to do that. Alright, skirmishes have started us off here. Dude, they've got to be in range of each other. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, how's the first volley? Yeah, we got some casualties. Here comes the French response. Not too bad there. France taking a few cuts here and there. 
France took a slightly bigger hit there in that first opening salvo. So we've got five more divisions coming over. Vastly outnumbering the skirmishes and cavalry over here. So what can the French really do in response? Seems like he have to pull back. He has some reinforcements coming over here, but they're gonna arrive a bit too late. France will probably have to pull back his line. There's too much pressure to put on one skirmisher unit. I know they got some pixel messes there. That's because in the Polynesian Eagles, you can actually see more of the lead that they fire. And there's only so much work the GPU can do before it just starts to sputter a little bit. Okay, 20 casualties there. 10 there. Oh, minor there. Nearly 20 there. 14. Okay, so we've got a mixture of, you know, 20 to 5 across the line there. Artillery, I suppose, might have killed a couple of these guys. None of these units can form a square. I wonder if the French are going to try and send in the cavalry of Dagoons. Or not. I don't think there's any other battles taking place. Oh, maybe there is. We've got a set of French skirmishers here by themselves trying to fire into the Spanish flanks. Spain got some spare cavalry units over here, they can send them forwards and take out these guys out. You could, oh no, there's cavalry here in case he does that. Alright, so the French player is deliberately trying to draw Spain out. Spain's seizing, he's targeting him with his artillery. He's probably got to run behind that windmill there. But right now, the French player's attention is over here. Doesn't realize he's about to lose his cavalry unit. Okay, we've got a six pounder here that's not firing, it's just standing by. Cavalry's pulling back. New unit forming square here. So, uh, Volanteros de Granda. And Cabrilla. Okay. Really? Oh yeah, that's over here. Unit of 50 cavalry. Yeah, they've got some time. Not a whole lot, but it should be enough. Alright, Spain's had enough of this. He's trying to deal with these skirmishes. Drive them up the field. Okay, the French reinforcements are arriving. The skirmish unit was enough. It has held back the enemy, at least for, for now. Held them back long enough for the French reinforcements to arrive. So we've got some special Vortigas here. It says they're firing. Only one trooper fell. So here's some legion. Three units of legion there. Oh, looks like we've got some legion variants across the board. Each belonging to the commanders we talked about earlier. These troops here are probably trying to break break through the Spanish and link up with the f troops over in... Jeez, uh, what's that word? I'm trying to find it again. Anduj Anduja. Anduja. I am trying to learn the Spanish and French commander names and the faction pronunciations today during my lunch break.
Bane centers in a bit of strife. He's got like three or four, I think maybe three infantry units targeting this one unit. These poor souls here. They get the most casualties along the line. Trying to break up the French center. Got the Spanish general behind him. Both players have been very um brave with their generals. I think there's a fair conclusion there. He's still refusing to send, bring up his second artillery piece. And this is a general here. Artillery piece is over there. Oh no, hang on. My bad. He has delumbered. Targeting these guys. Nice! Direct hit! Oh, another direct hit! Oh, he lost his head. Jeez, that was accurate. Nice uniforms, too. Spain's doing alright over here. No, oh, this unit's down, geez, nearly a hundred men. Hang on, do we have a battle over here? Yeah, we do. France has engaged the Spanish cavalry and broken through. They now have a beeline to the F Spanish general here. They're gonna try and take him out. Geez, this could be a bringing the battle to a screeching halt. Spain's turned around one of the divisions. Jeez, he was so close. Our men are running, sir. Oh, they broke the cavalry in it. Jeez, this close. The square definitely saved them. When they push the, when they form that square, they push the cavalry to the right, basically catching most of it, preventing them from reaching the general, and even this unit here. They only really just touched blades with them before they broke. Well, goes only lost ten there. We got a Spanish cavalry division facing off some volunteers, and they're being fired upon right now. Like pretty special troops. Akira says, Why doesn't he charge him? At that range, that's a mistake. Both players taking a hammer, and the French seems to be losing. That's just weird. He's got to get control of his cavalry, got to micro a little bit better. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. They're making another charge on the general. They're going for the Spanish battle line again. They broke one. In general's right there. So we've got a French cavalry retreating. But hang on, they're still in range. Okay, they're going after the, the Spanish skirmishes now. Spanish lines collapsing here on the left. Looks like the artillery is doing its job. That cavalry form, it did. Okay. 
but we still have two other cavalry divisions protecting the artillery crews up ahead. Okay, down to 27, this group. Voltigers probably will lose this fight. He needs a cavalry to come in here and attack these guys, outflank them, or, or attack them in the rear. Same goes over here. This cavalry unit could be a great asset to this fight here, but the French player is just not using it. Wow. He went in for a full frontal charge there with a the unit of 200 men. I don't know how many happened they charged in, but you, full size was 300. Spanish cab moved up, French form square, driving back. Alright, French army here is taking a beating. Cavalry is trying to attack. Probably should take out the rest of this unit here while they can. I mean, they might as well. Nothing stopping them from doing it. No risk of any losses. The Spanish army though, does have these guys on the ropes. Okay, the tide of battle seems to be turning in favour here for the French along the main battle line. Spain was looking better before, but now they're looking a little bit worse off. Despite the general being so close. I think a straight bullet could take that guy out. So far, he remains untouched. Where is the French army going? He's just trying to reform, group up. Our men are running, sir. Okay, he's trying to clear a path, maybe for the artillery. Oh no, they're firing. At this unit of infantry down here, it would seem. Wow. See, so that skimmed like five, six, or seven times, even. Must have been a barrage round. See, it's so hilly around here, it's easy for the artillery to overshoot. Or hit before the troops and bounce over their heads as well. More and more men continue the fall. So we've got some few a few isolated battles here and there. Oh, this one's still going on. Looks like this unit pulled back. Okay, French cavalry charged into the Spanish. Okay, we've got a set of dragoons here that broke the Lanceros. And now the artillery here is fair game, and the Spanish cavalry is actually pulling away from the artillery crews, leaving them to the mercy of the French. We have seven or eight more infantry divisions coming in, all full strength. Must be reinforcements. And has the French player started to move out of the town yet? It's possible. We've got, a, <laughs> got some French cavalry standing behind the Spanish line here, waiting for an opportunity to strike. He needs his army though to keep the, um, the attention of the infantry on them. At the same time the cavalry charges in. Alright, the Spain army here has broken up the French line, and now has effectively cut the line in two. This could be a good opportunity for the French Spanish player to exploit this, and send up these two units here. This one wheels right, this one here wields left. At the same time, these four push forward, and they isolate and finish off the remaining three units here. And then at the same time, they can these three can already turn right, and join this other one, and begin their march this way, pushing the French more and more towards the town here.
Okay, the French have cleaned up all the artillery crews there. Now, the Spanish should stop toying with the French here. They should just maybe be bayonet charge even run them forwards, take out this unit. Even if they charge out to them, they wouldn't suffer too many casualties. It's not like these skirmishes here can fire at a very fast rate and get many kills all at once. Where are these guys going? Who are they attacking? Makes sense if they want to take out these troops, make sure they don't come back. I don't think these guys can form square. Yeah, that's the thing with the Napoleon Eagles, they don't really have much of a, a running ability when it comes to their cavalry. These guys can form square. Spaniards moved in, finished them off, they broke instantly. Okay, looks like we're about to see the Spanish general die here. Down to four. Oh, there was another Spanish player. Really? Okay, the Susie broke. So Spain and France have seen victories across the board. Oh, you got the general back? Or is that a different general? France needs to be in it, charge these guys. Cannons are turning to face them. They're going to break this unit. Uh, cluster shot wasn't that effective there. You can see a stone sort of lob towards them, and then bounce, either bounce before them or bounce over them. That wasn't too bad there for the French. These Spanish cavalry here got way too cocky. They broke the unit, they should have pulled back while they were ahead. France cavalry moving in from behind. Jeez, these guys are stacked up to the nines. And now it's going to be a slaughter. The French are drinking a lot of Spanish blood right now. Alright, yep, he's pulling back. He's going to be relying heavily on these artillery to try and keep the enemy at bay here as he retreats his forces. The French do have some reinforcements coming in, but they're a long ways off from arriving. Geez, will these guys ever reform? Probably not. If they came all this way and had, uh, routed, they're not going to reform, I don't think. Wow. He's lumbering up. Why would he lumber up? And so well, one of the Sp French players here has fallen asleep or something. They're walking away.
Fortunately for them, the Spanish broke on their own accord. Okay, looks like the player's moving them now. You got lucky with that. And the French is about to lose their cavalry unit here. They were too busy pursuing an enemy. Now it's very easy to understand why this unit doesn't turn around and attack. I had the same problem myself when I was trying to control my own cav. Yeah, everyone's pretty fatigued at this stage. Got the French here trying to regroup their forces. Reinforcements still a long ways off. Spain's time to overwhelm these forces though is running out, so why they aren't being more aggressive and pushing towards the town, I don't understand that. They outnumber the French troops here, and they should be taking advantage of that, instead of waiting or giving the chance or giving the French chance more time for their reinforcements to arrive. It'll take time to get this artillery to the high ground up here. Which I'm thinking is where he's going to put it. But if, if Spain tries to move through this town here, that artillery is going to be cancelled out. Okay, looks like the days are numbered here for these guys. Alright, they're broken. Both are broken. Okay, they're done. Alright, Spain's formed up. The French await them at the mouth. Must be the point of first contact. Buildings have provided them some protection, not a whole lot, but some is better than none. Well, this kind of this kind of style of fighting does favour the Spanish. I mean, look, they've got a, a concave formation around the town here. We've got like five, or four, four or five units alone focusing down one French unit. If, Fran if France chooses to fight this way, he's going to lose for sure. He's enabling the Spanish players to take advantage of their superior numbers. This unit here needs to march forward, help this other unit take on the right flank of the Spanish here. Or, they need to form up and shoot the Spanish as they come through the town, as they're about to. Come on mate, pay attention. They're right there. There you go. No, 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 don't charge in. Don't charge in. Let these guys shoot. They're gonna get in the way. While being shot in the back. Their own troops are getting friendly fired there. This this guy these guys gotta pull back. Skirmish is about to be wiped out by the cavalry here. What have we got here? Uh, these guys just got left behind by accident, maybe. Or they broke and just reformed. Uh, the artillery is actually stopped. Alright. Uh, we've got Spain making a decent stand here in the town. Uh, 
he's been outflanked. They've got four on one here. These guys should move through the mouth here. Either shoot or charge straight into them. Shaking. Oh no, we got a unit here. Oh, is they're under attack. Uh, Spain continues to overwhelm the French. We'll probably do a small cut once these two units here fall. Okay, they're gone. Go. Oh no, this other unit here that was still in place seems to have broken on its own accord. And the surviving French troops have taken refuge inside the house there. And inside the building way way back there as well. And we've got the artillery over here. These guys are finally de lumbered. We've got the cav coming in. They might get one or two shots. Two's pushing it. There you go. Where are they going? Okay, here we go. Alright, took about six down, and that broke him. Should get one more volley in there. There's the other one. Alright. Cannon crew survives, but needs to immediately retarget the Spanish. We got only 67 troops here in the town, so these units are already heavily depleted. We got the generally oh we got both the French generals here inside the house. That's why there's so few men here. Okay. About to fire. Oh, I took out this. <laughs> they took out my cart. I just paid for that. Okay, French reinforcements have arrived, but they're still outnumbered. Spain is pretty well protected here from the buildings. Tell you what, France has committed... I think France is a little bit crazy putting both their generals in the one place. That's got to affect the confidence of the other troops outside the city if both those generals there fall. Now this is the two general units inside up against what 85 men? They're not samurai masters. There you go. And there's the other one. Two generals, one hit. It looks like they're trying to move the artillery over to the army arriving. And so we'll do some Kati guys and come back soon, I reckon. Sir, your general has been killed. Alright guys, we've got a French unit that's flying up behind a building. And is shooting the Spanish from either side. And it looks like the Spanish general's in the ranks, or he's around here somewhere, because this is oh no, this is the French general's horses. We know that the general's unit's already dead. Not a bad idea. But it looks like more of the Spanish ship troops can really hammer the right flank of this French unit. So I think France is at a disadvantage here in this fight. The 
Francis has got to pull back. He can't win that. But if that unit can hit this one busy while this one moves forward, wheels left and outflanks him, then yeah. Okay, that should be done and dusted. France victory there in that small battle. But this, that's where this unit needs to come into it. I mean, this guy is... He's too sheltered where he is. He's got to move this whole unit to the center of the street. He's not doing himself any favors. So this unit here should not be engaging this one. Uh, again, France needs to be more aggressive. We have a couple of French units outside the town here, firing on a couple of infantry. The Spanish units is taking refuge in the cemetery. These ones have to go far if they kick the bucket. Seriously, the irony of fighting a war in the cemetery. Very funny. The French artillery, so the player's definitely got his use out of that artillery in then some, I reckon. Huh. We took a house. All the way down here. Got a Spanish unit come to try and take it from them. That's one of the artillery crews. The Spanish should be able to take that. These guys are just standing around not doing anything. Seeing some odd trip movements around here. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Really? Yeah. I didn't realize there was a Spanish general in that house. I thought they already took it. Okay, these guys are doing something. Are they marching towards the road or are they going after the Spanish? No, they're heading towards the road. Okay. How many generals do these guys have? I thought we saw both the French generals die before. I'm really confused. Maybe they had four generals on the field. There's only 12 men in the house. And three French units will get to the house before these two Spanish. Bounce of power appears to be with the French. Yeah, see, that hill is just getting in their way. That was a barrage shot right there. Bounced right over their heads. Realizes he can't hit them. He's trying to move his artillery closer, but now I've got the Spain coming towards him. He probably should de lumber the minute he can. And now he's stuck. Spain has timed his approach beautifully here. France is in a lot of trouble. France trying to get on their horses and trying to get out of there. I don't think they're going to get away. They're trying. Oh, jeez. How close do you want to get? Okay. Last chance to try and take these guys out. They're going to shoot them. Just takes time to fire, unfortunately. Here you go. Bugger. 
No hits. No scratches. France has claimed the cemetery. Bayonet fight pierced with the French, yep. This unit needs to move forward, and they are. Good to see. Got a small battle going on over here as well. We are down to about 10 minutes so far. Both sides are going to be running low on ammunition. So that Spanish unit formed square there. Those other two need to move forward, take on that Spanish unit in front of them. Which is... Suzeros or Sregs. Oh, Spain could win this one. Oh no, they broke him. Bring the, these guys are very protective of their generals, they don't want to leave the house. This France is going to do something soon. I mean, he's slightly winning this, but only just. Those other two units here need to move forward and push in the Spanish further into the town. Into the line of fire from this unit. This unit needs to move up just a little bit. As those two units close in and push these guys back, I reckon. Push them into a trap. For a while, this unit wasn't firing, then all of a sudden they just started firing. They're trying to team up and take out this, this unit here. Trying to minimize friendly fire as best they can. That's from their own troops right there. Come on guys, you gotta start firing. All these rifles pointed to them at such close range, it's hard to imagine that most of them are missing. So this unit here fell back, forcing this unit to fall back. And these guys are trying to fire on the unit that's really protected behind that building there. We've got one of the French units skirmishing the outskirts. Trying to find a way in through the other side of the city. And the balance of power here shifted slightly in favour there of the French all of a sudden. We got here, 4 minutes and 23 seconds left. Okay, France has done a bayonet charge in and actually broken the Spanish unit. So they've got a foothold inside the city on this side now. And they've passed straight toward the building. The artillery crew here looks to be out of ammunition if they're in the fight. But they got, they're broken. Gee, some units just break so easily. It's gotta be frustrating. Just when he was gaining the upper hand, his troops abandoned him. Okay, I got the French troops inside here making a play for the house, it would seem. We got the artillery crew running through the streets. 
press the wide. Jeez, can this guy avenge his friend? Nope, he broke. Okay, France has sent their last unit in the area inside the house. Oh, hang on, these guys just reformed. He's got to get them back in their house. Looks like France will take control of the building. Four, three seconds left, and they took the house. So France is going to edge this one out just. Combat has definitely swayed to and fro here, but France definitely came out on top. But it's a victory there to the Spanish. France obviously had to wipe out the Spanish in order to win that one. But um, Spain held in there just long enough. So well done to them. Okay, kills here. The artillery 194, no real surprise there. Regs 183, Legion 167, 136, 134, 127, and 118. All very reactions to the Legion forces, of course, but you know, still good kill counts all around. Alrighty. Thank you to Anzac for sending me the replay. Close battle there, guys. Unfortunately, France, to the system there, lost because their mission was probably to wipe out the Spanish and they failed to do so, giving Spain the victory there. So well done to the Spanish player for that. If you want to see your own replay feature on this channel, guys, you can send them to my Discord ID, my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com, or you can join my Discord server at Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post your replays into the Battle Replay sub channel you will find there. You can also tag me on the Napoleon Total with your Discord as well as the SCW Discord if you want to see your own replay feature here on this channel as well. This is Mika on behalf of Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scouts. See you in the next Total War battle.